Hi friends, my name is Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm just going to insert this clip at the beginning of today's vlog. I've already started vlogging a few clips, um, but I recently got this in PR and they are Fitville shoes. Um, Fitville reached out to me and they wanted me to try some shoes for them. And I took a look at their website and absolutely said yes. They are all about like comfort and foot health. Um, and so I'm just going to open up today's shoes all wrapped up i did get a pair of like sneakers and they're very like 90s so here they are don't they remind you of like chunky 90s toddler shoes i got the white um actually i think it's pink but it's mostly white it just has like some pink detailing little fitville logo right here um has a little thing with care instructions and the care instructions say um they suggest cleaning your shoes with shoe cleaner and a soft cloth brush um avoid putting them in a hot environment or extreme sunlight and do not use a washing machine that's a bummer because i usually when i get dirty shoes i usually just toss them in the washer um and they are Velcro. How exciting is that? So if you're like using them to go on a jog or do a workout or anything, you don't have to worry about your shoes untying. I've had Velcro shoes since I was a kid. So that is so exciting. And I really, really needed um, a new pair of shoes for working out and going on walks and stuff. I haven't gotten new shoes in over a year, like new tennis shoes, um, at least in over a year. And so here they are, and I will get a clip of them on. I'm going to try them on right now and get a clip for y'all. Okay, y'all, are these not the cutest shoes ever? They give, like, ultimate 90s moms vibes. Um, I totally forgot to mention, they did give me a coupon code. It is Blondie30, um, and that gives you 30% off if you spend over $80. And I mentioned that the shoes are like meant for like comfort and foot health, um, but just to go into detail with that a little bit, um, they're especially great if you've had like foot or leg inju injuries. So like if you've hurt your ankle or your knee, um, they help with that. And also if you have wide feet, I don't necessarily think I have wide feet. I think mine are pretty like, I don't know, average in the middle somewhere, um, but they're still really comfortable regardless. I took a quick walk to the mailbox and they were so comfortable. They give like really good arch support. And um, yeah, so thank you so much to Fit Me for the shoes. I will leave their link down below if y'all are interested. Um, but that's my quick little review. Hi friends, welcome back to another vlog. Um, my birthday is actually tomorrow, so I think most of this vlog is probably gonna be birthday things, or at least, I don't know, a good chunk of it will be. But I just did grocery pickup. I've got Mickey Mouse going on in the background. And I got like some cleaning stuff and some hand soaps. Whenever I get new, like cleaning supplies or at least new cleaning supplies I had never tried before. It always like makes me want to clean because I want to try out the new stuff, you know? Um, so I got some new things. First off, um, Mr. Clean, the Swiffer. I think this is lemon. Yeah, lemon zest. I've been loving lemon scents lately. Um, and then also this Mr. Clean Deep Cleaning Mist. And it's kind of like a, I think it's a continuous spray. So I'm going to try this out. I like Ajax soap over Dawn soap personally. So this one's vinegar and lime. Um, usually I get the lemon because like I said, I like the lemon, but I thought I'd change it up, you know, once again to, um, cause then I'll be like more, I don't know, encouraged to clean. And then just some hand soaps cause we need some lemons and citrus, juicy peach and milk and honey. Lately I've just been getting like the cheapest hand soap, you know, like when I do grocery pickup, I, I set my preferences from like low to high and grab the cheapest one this time i decided to get some like scented ones all of these are cheap though they're all like i think the swab is two dollars and then these are like dollar and change so it's not like they're expensive hand soaps but but they're not the ones i usually get so i'm most excited for this one because like i said I'm, i've been on a lemon kick lately um but that is it for now we have people coming family coming this weekend so i have lots of cleaning to do and then tomorrow's my birthday Okay, we've got a pulled pork taco bar for tonight. So pulled pork, just some tortillas. I'm gonna make more salsa, um, fiesta blend cheese, um, this uh, basically sour cream, um, avocados, cilantro, cabbage, and um, this cotija, I think that's how you say it. Lime juice because I forgot to get real limes. And yeah. Here's how the tacos came out. Look how yummy. All 
All right, so these are the cakes I made myself this year. Um, they're tres leches, otherwise I would have like stacked them. And I was looking online and I guess some people do stack tres leches cakes. But I've never done it before and I feel like it would fall apart, you know? So I, I wasn't about to experiment. The Tres Leches cake is my favorite cake lately and lemon cake is one of my favorite flavors. So it's actually a lemon Tres Leches cake with berries all over, lots and lots of berries because I love berries on my cake. So instead of doing like, you know, a cute little design like just in the corner or just in the middle, I did it all the way around. And this is just one box. One box did both of these, which again, if it wasn't Tres Leches, I would have stacked them and had a two layer but um yeah those are the cakes it is about nine it's almost 9 p.m the day before i was thinking of doing my nails tonight but i kind of like don't want to stress about it so i'm just going to like i want like nice new nails on my birthday but i also just don't want to stress about it tonight i want to be able to relax so not just gonna keep these pink ones that i've had since like right before valentine's day um, and then house is so clean. Let me show you. But there's my animals. House is so clean with the exception of that little corner on the house of the couch. Um, cause I have my Yeti and my heating blanket and another blanket and like pillow for my bed. Cause I was over there relaxing. Um, I'm going to light this candle in just a minute. I also did change up the way our table is for now, but, and then all the other rooms are clean too, but here's just the kitchen and living room. Um, because we have family coming tomorrow and the next day. And so needed the the needed to deep clean everything. Look at these two having a standoff. Also, I really wish that I had lids with these. I'm wrapping them in foil so I can put them in the fridge for overnight. Um, but I really wanted to use like my glass cake dishes. So you could like see that it's cake and not like a berry pie or tart or I don't know anything else any other dessert i wanted you to be able to see that it's a cake since i'm not stacking them and my glass ones don't have lids i have some um metal ones that have lids but these ones do not metal and ceramic ones but these ones do not and then i'm going to have a little bit of a spa night so i can wake up tomorrow just feeling great and feeling gorgeous um but i saw this on twitter so i'm going to you know end my 28th year start my 29th year trying this um, but I'm gonna it's sherbet ice cream and then on tick or not Pinterest that's where I got the idea on Pinterest they used sherbet ice cream and um, champagne but I don't like champagne so I'm gonna use my favorite wine which is this sparkling Moscato but it's sparkling so it's kind of like champagne in a wine glass kind of like a root beer float but like a champagne sherbet wine okay my phone's about to die but here it is how cute and I've got my spring wreath out now that Valentine's Day is over. Okay, voiceover time. I woke up on my birthday to my favorite candy and soda and also some presents laid out on the table. Look how cute it was all set up. And so I woke up, walked into the kitchen and these were out for me, um, a wine glass. And then inside were some candles, which was perfect because I didn't get myself candles for my cake, even though I made my own cake. I wasn't even planning on blowing out candles. Um, a little gift and then the wine, there was wine inside. I'll, I'm doing an unboxing in just a second, but look how beautiful it was decorated. And then a big happy birthday banner, sparkly and pink, both my favorite things. Hi friends, so today's my birthday. I'm getting ready right now. I've got my hair up. Sorry, check in the wings. I did like a little a little light brown eyeliner. Um, doing like the whole Alex Earl kind of-ish makeup look with the light brown eyeliner. I used actual eyeliner, I think she used eyeshadow. And then I did like water, white in my waterline. Um, I've got my hair up, pinned up and not rollers, but just in bobby pins. I've been loving doing my hair this way because it um, gives it like so much volume. Um, I'm just getting ready. I've got, I'm drinking a coffee and a glass of wine and I'm getting ready and I'm also packing because um, I just found out like what we are doing today. And well, I knew some of the things, but not all of it. Um, we are going to a John Williams like symphony orchestra and then we're staying at a hotel tonight um so i also need to pack for that and then we're doing more things tomorrow um so right now i'm just getting ready for like the symphony it's only noon and the symphony isn't until six so i have lots of time 
Um, but I wanted to like take some pictures and stuff before. I don't have lipstick on because I wanted to do a little birthday haul because I have gotten a few things. And um, I did get a little lipstick sample. So I wanted to try that on, my, on camera. So first off, Sephora, um, I'm gonna start off with like just the freebies. Got a little clean perfume. This looks really cool. Fresh Black Tea Advanced to Age Renewal Cream. That looks cool. Briogeo, I think it's shampoo, conditioner, and mask. Yeah, just one-time use of samples. And then this is a Renew and Repair Advanced Serum from Guerlain Paris. Never heard of it. Looks bougie. Um, and then I also use my points to get some freebies. And so this is what I'm going to try right now is this Rare Beauty little lipstick. And then I also got Olaplex number nine, which I just posted my like Olaplex review up on my channel. I did not try the number nine in my review, so maybe I'll do like an update it with that. And then the whole reason I placed online orders were for the freebies. I'll open these in a second and show you. But the glow recipe, I have two Sephora accounts. That's why I have two freebies. Um, I didn't do it on purpose, but hey, if you want extra freebies, open extra Sephora accounts. And then since I placed the orders online, I didn't have to buy something. So I literally just searched sale, did low to high, because there wasn't anything I really wanted. Actually, what I wanted was a Rare Beauty blush set, and they were sold out. Um, and I didn't want to buy just one blush. I wanted the minis, because I don't need, like, I prefer to have, like, minis and get a sample of a few different colors than, like, one full-size blush. I don't know. Um... So these are the things I bought each on like a separate account so I could get the two birthday gifts. But I just got the Mario Badescu Mint Lip Balm. Is Mario Badescu going out of out of business? Because all of their stuff was on sale and I know everyone is saying those sprays are like so bad for your skin. And I loved those sprays a few years ago. I just thought they were so refreshing. Um, and I guess they're bad for your skin. And then also this Sephora Glowing Peel Mask. Both of these were less than $10. Because like I said, I just wanted to buy something to um, to get my free stuff. And it's like a little pump. And it's a peeling mask, which I don't love peeling masks. But I don't know. I think the packaging just really intrigued me. Let me open these real quick. Actually, let's do lipstick first and then I'll open the birthday things. This is the tiniest little sample. Not even sample. It was like a 100 point perk. Um, I'm going to put on some lip liner. I haven't tried anything from Rare Beauty, by the way. And it's been out for a few years now. And I love Selena Gomez. This is my go-to lip liner. It's, oh my gosh, it's so rubbed off. Um, I, I got it from Shop Miss A, though. But I can't read what the color is. I think it might be plum. Um, I'm going to put this over here because I'm going to pack that. And then look how little tiny baby. Oh man, I should have put chapstick on before. Here. Here, I'll use a little bit of this Mario Badescu lip balm. My lips are so dry. I mean, my lips are always so dry. I wish I could be like, oh, it's because it's winter, but they also are dry like during the summer and during the fall and during the spring. And I need some scissors. And this is mint, by the way. And mint lip balms are my favorite, which was a big reason why I got it. And also because it was on sale. Oh man, I hope that helps because um, they're really dry and then I'll put this on top. So that's probably going to affect the color, by the way. Really, really gorgeous though. Mommy, I want my water. Some more water? My water for your tea party. More water for your tea party? Yes. Okay. Okay. Love this color. It matches my lip liner very well. Um, and the color is Courage, by the way. So tiny little sample. 
Um, and then let's open these guys up and then I'll show you a few other things I got for my birthday. By the way, I want to do my hair in an updo and I don't want to do it until like right before we're going to leave, but I have to pick my kids up from school. So do I just like go and pick them up from school with my hair like this? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm seriously considering it, but the glow, I just dropped it all over. I forget what the makeup one was because they have like a makeup, a hair, a skincare where you can get points. Um, I've actually been wanting to try Glow Recipe for a really long time, but we have dew drops and a toner. So I'm guessing the dew drops are a serum. These are pretty good size samples. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then the way, I think last year I got two hair care samples just because I didn't love what, what the other samples were. Um, Oh my gosh, this is a good one. Honestly, I think this one's gonna be my favorite of the two. Like if I had to recommend one, I think it's gonna be The Way. And I've tried Way before, like when I did Ipsy and stuff, I got a few, I think dry shampoo, or it was from some subscription, maybe FabFitFun, but we have um, a detoxing shampoo, we have a body cleanser, we have a leave-in conditioner, and a little perfume so even though hair products like this for me personally do not last as long as say the skincare products they definitely don't last as long as the makeup products I'll, i have makeup products that i've had for years you know i still think this is the best bang for your buck um because because i'm gonna use it you know whereas the skincare i might use it it might sit in a drawer for a while Yes, my love. And so, personally, this is what I would recommend. Oh, my baby. Plus, I love whey. Okay, I need to get this one um, a drink, and then I will be right back. Okay, kids are settled. So, um, I so now on to, like, things, gifts that I got. I did get, like, the most gorgeous dress that I opened yesterday, and I'm probably going to wear it tomorrow. It's, like, it's a spring-summer dress, but it's literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So, I'll show it to you when I'm wearing it. Hopefully I don't look crazy wearing it in the middle of winter, but it's so gorgeous. Um, first off, thanks for my mom. She got gift cards and then she got these chocolates, which I haven't even opened yet because it's just, it's so gorgeous. I didn't want to like ruin the, the bow. Actually, I think I can just slide it off without ruining the package. It's um, Barnell's Sweet Creations, by the way. How gorgeous is that packaging? I love like bougie chocolates oh my gosh it smells like the inside of a seas candy oh and it's an aussie good day mate is an aussie living in the u.s i've been out on the lookout for the perfect something to go with my cuppa and then it has a whole thing so there's these and i'm gonna probably have to do a close-up <gasps> oh my gosh are these like chocolate they're chocolate covered oreo oh my goodness okay i'll do it i don't want to like spill them out of here so i'll do a close-up they look gorgeous you can tell they melted a little because they came in the mail you can tell they melted a tiny bit but that is a-okay so fun so thank you mommy if you're watching this um and then i also woke up to this great big gorgeous gift my daughter gave me one of her extra valentines um and so inside here, a birthday girl wine glass with 29 birthday candles to put on my cake. Now I need to get like a photo of me with my cake. Um, and I already opened all of this already this morning. Um, so none of this is a surprise. But then my favorite wine, which I like showed you last night, I was making this like this wine with... Um, Sherbert. Ah, the bow came off. But um, my favorite wine to go with the wine glass. It has like an animal print, like a pink and gold animal print. How me is that? Oh, this was so cute on the wine glass. Um, I just messed it up. It was so cute earlier though. And then 
my favorite candies are licorice and so twizzlers i love twizzlers and red vines these are my favorite kind of twizzlers the cherry ones that are like pull apart and then my favorite chocolates which are the lint lindor any flavor i will eat these in any flavor they're all my favorite and then some slippers um and the brand is i don't know they're faux fur knit slipper socks faux fur i don't even see any fur does it mean like i bet it's this this is probably like lamb faux lamb whatever what is it called joy spun how cute oh and then this is probably like faux i mean it doesn't even feel leathery but it's it's supposed to look like leather um and then the last thing in here is a book which um, it happened one summer by Tessa Bailey. And I've heard so many good things about Tessa Bailey um, and I haven't read anything by her. I know a lot of the same people who enjoy Colleen Hoover also enjoyed Tessa Bailey and I love Colleen Hoover. Um, actually at the end of this vlog, I, I would like to do like a January, February book wrap up because I did like my yearly book wrap up at the end of 2022 and it was just like too much. I didn't remember like a lot of the things I wanted to talk about about each of the individual books. So I think like later in this vlog, I will do like a talk about what I, the books I've read in January, February. I wish I did it at the end of January and I, I'd just do like a month by month, but so excited to read this. I haven't read anything by Tessa Bailey. And also I love all of her cover art. She always has like these cartoony cover covers i think they're so cute so that is it for now i'm going to finish packing and hopefully I figure out outfits for tomorrow i don't totally know what we're doing tomorrow but we're doing stuff tomorrow and i also need to find something to wear tonight what, what does one even wear to like a symphony orchestra you have to dress like semi-fancy right um but yeah that's that's my gift like a little um, like spa, not spa night, like self-care night, cozy night in. Also look at the, how cute. Y'all know I'm a sucker for a good bag. All right, so that is it for now. And here's a close-up of the Oreos. Even though they're a little melted, they still look so delicious and they smell so, so yummy. Um, and every single one is a different flavor. And then here's a close-up of the box because y'all know I'm a sucker for good packaging. Okay, so I did that like a little cake, cake trend where you put it in a wine glass and eat it from the wine glass. I felt so bougie. Um, I'm definitely going to be eating cake like this more often. Also, since Tres Leches is like kind of um, soggy, it worked really great in the wine glass. Um, and then I got my free Starbucks drink just at all because it was like late in the day. I didn't get any clips from the symphony, but here's just a couple of pictures that I took. It was like Star Wars. It's just like all John Williams music. We went to Red Lobster for dinner um, and it was not very good. I got this margarita. It was the best part of dinner. And then I also got like a crab pasta dish. And then I got flowers and I never ever get flowers lately. It feels like I always buy myself flowers, but um, it was really nice to give them as a gift and look how beautiful they are. And I want to take lots and lots of pictures with them. And yeah. Okay, I totally forgot to post to film yesterday's OOTD for last night, but we went to the symphony. I wore a white romper. I wore like these fake Gucci pearl earrings and I wore a fake Louis Vuitton necklace and I wore fake like studded Valentino um, heels. So, you know, all the fake stuff all around and then like a white romper with bracelets, the same bracelets as I'm wearing today, actually. These bracelets and I did like a double ponytail thing in my hair yesterday so it looks like a super thick ponytail today I just have it up in some clips and like kind of like a half up half down sort of thing um these real flower earrings that my sister got me for Christmas same makeup as yesterday baby girl necklace and then this gorgeous dress which is the one I mentioned that was a birthday gift. It has like a slit in the middle and then white heels, which I don't have on yet. And then these white heels and maybe this pink purse. I'll probably take the fuzzy thing off. Um, but I feel like the purse might be too much, but at the same time, I'm also, I'm trying to be like not afraid of being 
too much. Like it's okay to be all extravagant and all out there, especially on my birthday weekend. But yes, there's yesterday's and today's outfit of the day. I just totally, we got ready and we left and I totally forgot to film what I was wearing. Okay, and then for lunch, we went and got these like mead flights and they had so many different menus. They had like a slushy menu, sparkling mead, regular mead, a mead that was like 22% alcohol. And then they had one that was like mimosas. And so I got one off each menu with except for not the mimosas menu. So that way I could sample a little of each one. And then just um, this really good like turkey sandwich and everything was so, so delicious. All right, so we are going to a Cajun place for dinner, so I needed to change it to something casual. But I did just get this shirt off Amazon. Mama, mommy, mom, bruh. Thought it was kind of funny, you know? And then just, I'll probably put my hair back in a clip because it's going to be messy. Um, it's like like crab boils and crawdad boils. Bracelets. And then just mom jeans. And I'll put um, sneakers on. And then for dinner, um, I got the shrimp boil. This place only does crawdad boils every other weekend, and this was an off weekend. I was so disappointed. Um, but then we went to my favorite ice cream place, and I got this ice cream sundae that was huge, but so, so delicious. And then we actually, I said that we were staying Friday night at the hotel. We actually stayed Saturday night at the hotel. Um, and so we went, and we got drinks at the hotel bar, and so I got a um, vodka cranberry. And then I got this Long Island iced tea, which I have decided I do not like Long Island iced teas. And then there's the um, downtown in the background. It was so gorgeous. All right, Sunday outfit of the day. This is the first time I've seen my makeup in natural lighting. Sunday up for the day. We got a hotel last night. Um, this dress, red shoes, same jewelry as yesterday. I just threw my hair in like pigtails with yesterday's braids. All we're doing today is we're trying a new coffee place. So, you know, nothing crazy, but I still want to get dressed up because I have people watching my kids. So, you know, mom, mom's day in the town. And we went like drinking and stuff last night just at the hotel bar. So. Yeah, last day of my birthday weekend. Okay, it's a few days later, but I finally got my nails. Well, I did them myself, just some like purple gel nails. And then we also, I got a DoorDash gift card. So I got some Red Robin and went all out. Got two different appetizers and a milkshake and a soda and a um, bonsai burger, which is my favorite thing at Red Robin. And, and um, the mozzarella sticks and pretzel bites. Hi friends. Okay, so it is a few days later. My birthday ended a few days ago, but um, I we had such a busy weekend and I got this at the place we went to, they, the, the mead place we went to. They sold a bunch of like honey products. Um, I got these for charcuterie boards. One of them is actually a gift for someone else, but little honey sticks for charcuterie boards. And then of course they do like their own honey. So I had to get some honey to try out. Um, like just some local honey. Um, I've been loving peanut butter and honey sandwiches lately, and I've even been making them for my kids for lunch. They've been loving them too, so I'm gonna use that for those. Um, got this beeswax candle. This is the Bee Cozy, and it doesn't say like the scent, but it's just a lovely, really like sweet scent. Oh, so yummy. It's almost like very Christmas tree-like. I bet there's a little bit of like pine or something in there. But it's very, very sweet also. Um, ingredients are beeswax, coconut oil, um, and it says fragrance and or essential oils. And so just a cute little, what is this? Eight ounce candle? Four ounce candle. Look how cute their little logo and stuff is. I love finding little like local places. Um, and then the last thing I got was also just a chapstick and sweet. They had so many chapstick flavors, but I went with mint. Mint are my favorite. I love mint products for lips. Um, and so this is the sweet minty bee lip balm with cocoa butter, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, beeswax, and lip flavor oil. So they like really take pride in all of their honey and beeswax products. And then plus their mead, which is what we were tasting. And it was delicious. I will definitely be going back there. And then a couple other things. 
Um, I got two dresses in PR and I did try them on. Um, I guess it's not really PR because I'm working with them on Amazon. Um, but I like to share my like other projects here on YouTube as well. Um, cause that's really what my YouTube channel is, is like material things, you know, like fashion and beauty and material things. Um, but the brand is Fashion Classic and just two dresses that I, um, took some photos for and some videos for, for their Amazon store, not their Amazon store, their Amazon store. Um, and so one is like a blue ruffly dress. It's like a t-shirt dress, but it has like ruffly sleeves. And then the other is a beige, more flowy dress. Again, ruffle, it has a ruffly top and ruffly sleeves. It's really, both are really gorgeous and they're both cotton. They're super, super comfortable. Um, so just wanted to share those real quick. And then I also got this for a birthday gift. Um, this like orange patterned dress. Perfect. How beautiful is this for spring and summer? Um, puffy sleeves. I puff sleeve dresses are like my favorite trend right now. So there's that. And then some other things I got for my birthday. I basically made like a list for my family and like a, a wish list basically. And it all the only things I had on there were eBay listings, and it was all number one books and number two Barbie ornaments. I basically told my family I was like, I want books and Barbie ornaments. Um, most of the Barbie ornaments are older. Some might be considered vintage now, but they're not like super old. They're like early 2000s and 90s. Um, and then all of the books, I was like, just get me used books on eBay. And I made a list of the books I wanted. So, um, and I still have a few things coming in the mail, but they'll just have to wait till next vlog. But I, I've had family reach out and say they've sent me things. But we've got, this is the um, sophisticated lady fashion doll. Doesn't she look like Princess Diana though? And then a birthday wishes. And I'm gonna go put these like right with my um, Christmas decor. And then we have Barbie as Sugar Plum Princess from um, Barbie and the Nutcracker. And it also comes with a little Nutcracker. How cute. So there's these. And then a book that I got as well is um, Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire, which I've, um, I've read this book before, but the, the, they're making a movie, um, based off of it. And one of the Sprouse twins, I forget which one, um, is going to be in it. I, I didn't watch the whole trailer to be honest, because I didn't want to spoil anything, but I did want to read the books again before the movie comes out. Same with Hunger Games, the new, um, what's it called? Uh, Songbirds and Snakes, like movie is coming out. I think in November and so I wanted to reread all of the Hunger Games and also re read that book because I've never read that one before. Um, it's about like President Snow I think. All right just gonna edit this in real quick. I got these in the mail just now Catching Fire and Mockingjay because I already have the um, first Hunger Games paperback book so now I can read these and then I will eventually get the, um, the, the one that the movie the new movie is about. Um, so I wanted to do just a bunch of rereads before, you know, movies come out. So Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. And if I remember correctly, I loved this book, um, but it's been probably close to 10 years since I read it. Last time I read it, I was probably like 19, 20, and now I'm 29. So yeah, um, I think that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.